Hello YouTube, this is Video Gamer, and this is the How to Draw Video Game Characters tutorial. For this specific tutorial, I will be showing you how to draw Pikachu, Voltorb, Magnemite, and other electric type Pokemon. Of course, they are from the Pokemon series, and I'm going to be putting them all together in one picture to make it seem really cool and electrifying. So, without further ado, let the drawing begin! more trickier to draw than Voltorb. I'm going to place Chin Chow right here. Chin Chow is start going to start out as an oval. And the eyes are going to come next. And then I'm going to do the light globes that are on his antenna. And Chin Chow's eyes are basic plus signs, which I always found to be sort of cool looking. So once you've finished the outline of Chin Chow, you're going to do the same thing that I've been doing with every other character, and that's doing the brisk outline with the pen. I'm going to take my normal pencil and I'm going to color any part that's not yellow gray. And now comes my last character and one of my other favorites, Magnemite. Magnemite is almost as easy to draw as Voltorb, but the only tricky part is getting the uh, magnets correct because the magnets are about real 3D. So I'm going to start on Magnemite right about here. And now I'm just going to draw a basic outline for where I want the magnets to go. So once I've got that, all the basic stuff, I'm going to draw a darker outline with the pencil. So now that I've got that done, I want to work on the magnets just a little bit more. To give them that 3D feel, you've got to decide which way you want facing up and which way you want facing down. Here I'm going to draw the edge of the magnet. And now I'm going to draw the these extra guidelines. Now I'm going to do my pen outline with Magnemite. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glare. And now, there's not really meant very many black parts to Magnemite. Just about the only thing you can color black is his eye, part of the screws, and the 3D parts of the magnets. The rest of it can be colored uh, with your pencil. Color the magnets a little bit darker than what you would color the body. Color the poles just a little bit lighter than what you colored the rest of the magnet. And don't color the screws, those are okay. So now I've got all my Pokemon here, and you're thinking all you did was a pencil sketch. Well, the thing is, I'm not done yet. I'm going to pick out one or two shades of yellow. And any parts that were yellow on the characters is what I'm going to color first. So Pikachu will get a lot of yellow. So that's all the yellow that I have on the characters, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a lot of cool sparks and electricity marks, just to make it so that they do seem like electric Pokemon. So for Magnemite, you would originate, originate the sparks coming from the 
magnets. And I mean, they're just basic zigzags. I mean, they don't even have to be perfect zigzags. You just go crazy with them. Chin Chow sort of has an aura around the orbs, and then you can start the zigzags off. I'm just mixing my other shade of yellow in with the rest of it. And Voltorb, you can just draw a little ore line around him. Since he's in front of Magnet, Mag Magnemite, you can just draw it in front of Magnemite too. And then just bring out your electric lines again. Then Pikachu. For Pikachu, it usually originates from the cheeks or the tail. Here is my finished drawing of the electric Pokemon that I chose to draw. Now, I've always been a fan of Pokemon, and drawing them is just fun too. Uh, I chose to do this differently because I thought it would be really cool to experiment with the different shades of gray and black and then just pull out one or two colors of yellow and just make a really unique draw. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, you should rate it, comment, favorite, and even throw in a request because I just might pick your request. But one thing you probably should do is subscribe. That way you'll know if I actually picked your request for the next video. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys like the next ones to come, so see ya!